For today's video, I'm going to show you what exercises you can do to get massive forearms and wrists. There are a ton of exercises that aim to build those forearms of yours, but only a very few that are centered on growing the wrists. Both the forearm and wrist muscles are considered small, but even then, they're mighty. They are like the last small but essential details to attend to so you can achieve complete upper body muscular development. I'm going to provide you with my top 8 picks of forearm plus wrist exercises. But first, can you really get thicker wrists as you would with bigger forearms? And what makes up your forearms? I'll be answering those in a short while. Stay tuned until the last second and I'll tell you my very own secret to getting massive forearms and wrists apart from the exercises themselves. Factors that affect wrist size Number 1. Genetics Your genetics is a major factor in determining the extent of your bone dimensions. For instance, it's possible to have large wrists because you inherited them from one or both of your parents. After all, the natural body type is typically determined by the genes. Number 2. Nutrition Although it doesn't hold as much importance as genetics, your regular diet is another factor that contributes to your wrist size. For this reason, you must be attentive to your eating habits. For instance, boost your vitamin D and calcium intakes as these two aids in the development of bones. Additionally, you must eat enough protein to promote the growth and strength of the muscles. The takeaway about getting bigger wrists. So what's the verdict then? Can you really get thicker wrists? The short answer is not really. It's nearly impossible to get bigger wrists without the help of genetics and nutrition. It'd take time and effort and the results would be minimal if any. The primary reason being is that there's not much to go on there since the wrist has very little muscle on it, besides the bones, tendons, and skin. To get really bigger wrists, you would need to be born with thicker bones or you must alter the structure of your forearm and head. And neither of them is an option. So what can you do? It's simple, just concentrate on bulking up those forearm muscles. Unlike your wrists, your forearms have a lot more room for muscle growth. By training your forearms, you will also see a small extent of growth on your wrists. When trained properly, your forearms can grow quite big and in turn the actual size ratio between your forearms and your wrists will get bigger. But for men like you who are small boned, there's a silver lining. The smaller your original body frame is, the more emphasized your forearms will look, ultimately giving you a bigger and more rounded appearance. Whereas if you have really large bones already, the muscles you pack on won't look as remarkable. Building strength and thickness in your forearms is a matter of finding the right exercises. But before that, it pays to know the anatomy of the forearm. Your forearms are composed of three muscles, and these are wrist flexors, wrist extensors, and brachioradialis. Real quick, hit that like button and let's get back into it. Wrist flexors. The wrist flexors are on the posterior side of the forearm. To activate this group of muscles, you need to perform movements that combine repetitions and slow contractions. Wrist extensors The wrist extensors cover the inner side of the forearms. Although your extensors are in a large muscle group, they can significantly change the shape of your entire forearm. Then finally, the main muscle in the forearm that gets most of the bulk of the muscles is your brachioradialis. When it comes to size, the brachioradialis is the primary part of the forearm. This large forearm muscle activates when your arm makes sudden movements or when you lift heavy objects. Interestingly, the brachioradialis is not just the largest muscle in the forearm, but is also superficial. As such, training them will make the largest impression on your forearm's appearance. Now that we have the basics covered, let's get right into the forearm exercises. Perform them, or at least four out of the eight exercises, twice a week and aim for two to three sets to failure for each exercise. Best Exercises for Massive Forearms Plus Wrists Number 1. Wrist Extensions As their name suggests, wrist extensions train your wrist extensors. Your extensors won't grow massive, but they can grow drastically bigger, leading to a thicker, more muscular appearance of your forearms. To start, sit on a chair or bench with a dumbbell in each hand. Hinge forward from the hips, not slump forward, so your forearms rest on your thighs. Position your hands with palms down and move them forward so your wrists are just past your knees. Now, extend your wrists keeping your forearms planted on your knees as you bend your wrists backward and then lift the weights. This must be a small motion only. Lower the dumbbells back to the starting position, then repeat. For the next exercise, think biceps curls but with your wrists. Yes, I'm talking about number 2. Wrist Curls since wrist curls are a more difficult exercise than most of you might expect, use a lightweight at first. To start, sit on a chair or bench and rest your forearms on your thighs. Position your hands with palms up. Next, scoot your hands forward so that your wrists are just forward of your knees. Slowly, let the dumbbells roll out of your palms and down into your fingers, but not out of your hands. Grip the weights, pulling them back into your palms, and flex your wrists pointing your knuckles towards the sky as close as you can comfortably manage. That's one repetition. 
Unlike the previous two that require the use of weights, this time for the grip crusher exercise. You'll need a wrist squeezer or more commonly known as a hand gripper. Number 3. Grip Crushers There are many types of grip exercises, but using hand grippers is my favorite. Plus, it's really straightforward and amazing at isolating my grip and forearms. To do it, wrap your hand around a gripper and squeeze until the two handles touch. When doing it as part of a workout, warm up with easier resistances first. Then, do 2-3 to three sets with a gripper that you can completely close 5-10 to 10 times. Number 4. Hammer Curls If traditional bicep curls are one of your go-to exercises, then you'll like hammer curls too. It it uses a neutral grip, which places some of the work on the forearm. To do it, stand and hold a pair of dumbbells at arm's length by your sides with your palms facing each other. Curl the weights as close to your shoulders as you can, all the while keeping your elbows tucked, your upper arms locked in place. Only your hands and forearms should move, and your palms facing inward. Pause to feel the burn, then slowly lower the weights back to the starting position. The inverted row is another great exercise for building your forearms. A bit harder than usual, but definitely amazing for muscle growth. Get to know it in a bit. Number 5. Reverse Curls The reverse curl is best done with an easy bar, but if you don't have one, you can use dumbbells instead. Reverse curls focus most of the work on your brachioradialis. To start, stand with dumbbells in each hand, arms by your sides, and palms facing back. Lift the weights to about chest height, all the while keeping your elbows close to your sides as you bend your arms at the elbows. Also, keep your palms in the same orientation throughout the exercise. Slowly lower the weights to complete the repetition. By the way, your forearms are just one of the many muscle groups that need working out. Your glutes, for one, are just as important. More on that coming up in a bit. Number 6. Farmer's Carry The Farmer's Carry is an essential exercise to create a powerful forearm. It also develops a stronger core and improves your shoulder stability. To perform it, grab a dumbbell or kettlebell in each hand, stand tall, and start walking. Throughout the exercise, keep your abs braced, your chest tall, and your shoulders pulled back. Number 7. Inverted Row The inverted row builds the forearm specifically in strength while targeting the muscles of the shoulder and upper back. The more horizontal your body, the more challenging the exercise. To start, set up a bar in a smith machine or power rack at waist height and lie on the floor underneath it. Grab the bar using an overhand grip that's slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Next, hang with your arms fully extended and your body straight from head to heels. Keep your shoulders directly below your hands and your heels hip width apart. Now, keeping your core engaged, pull your chest to the bar as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Pause to feel the burn, then slowly return to the original position. Do you find inverted rows or maybe standard pull-ups challenging? If so, then wait until you try towel pull-ups. Number 8. Towel Pull-Ups Compared to the traditional pull-up, the towel variation is a more powerful movement, amplifying the work on your forearms. To stay up, you must crush the towels and squeeze them even tighter to pull yourself up. Don't worry, getting only 1-2 to two reps on your first try is completely acceptable. To do it, wrap two towels around a pull-up bar. Grabbing a towel in each hand, perform your pull-ups, keeping your chest up and your shoulders down as you rise. If this is too hard, start with just one hand grabbing a towel and the other hand grabbing the bar. Then alternate sides. Did you make it to this point of the video? Then as promised, here's my secret, three to be exact, to having massive forearms aside from those exercises I've mentioned. The key to getting bigger forearms and wrists. Number one, increase training volume. Your training volume measures the amount of work you have accomplished within an exercise regime. If you're using Using dumbbells and barbells, determine the amount of weight that you've lifted in total. The key here is to use heavy weights but perform only a few reps. Then, do your reps to a point of muscle fatigue to stimulate hypertrophy. Be patient and make incremental increases to the volume and intensity of your training. Number 2. Eat more protein Want bigger defined muscles? Eat lots of protein-rich foods. Tell you what, those muscle mass that gym rats have are mostly protein. Therefore, you must have a regular high-protein diet. Protein, after all, contains the crucial amino acids acids for the development and repair of muscle. Since you're trying to pack on muscle, you need more protein than an ordinary fitness enthusiast. To bulk up, consume at least 2 grams of protein per kilo of your body weight. Number 3. Commitment is Key The forearms help you in anything that involves gripping and pulling, be it opening a bottle or carrying grocery bags. When your forearms are fully developed, they will not just look the part, but will also serve to be highly functional. Therefore, you need to commit to a life of fitness and make sure to include your forearms in your exercise exercise regime. Building your forearms and wrists is just scratching the surface if you want to truly tone and develop your whole body. Other muscle groups like glutes, hamstrings, abdominals, and many more are yet to be trained. And so with that in mind, click here to learn the best exercises for bigger glutes.